Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. Hopefully, gonna be getting uh, most, if not all, of the rest of our baling done today. That is the goal. Um, video might seem a little low on the frame rate side, but that's probably because I have like I have a bunch of old episodes. Uh, from this series, um, moving from my videos folder onto my external hard drive to make room on my regular hard drive. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's doing that, plus it's also exporting a video, uh, yesterday's video, so, you know, kind of got a lot going on on it. <laughs> plus it's recording and running the game. So, we kind of got a bit going on here. We're doing pretty well on this field. I do have to say, I didn't think this field was going to do this uh, good on bales. But I guess that it is. Which is A-OK -okay with me. The more bales, the better. The less hay that we have to cut uh, for a second cutting. Because if anything, I might just cut this field, the other big one back there, and then cut a few of the small ones, uh, depending on how many bales we get. Plus, I mean, I may end up cutting more if we don't get quite enough bales uh, from whatever I cut for second cutting, so. You know, it'll all just kind of depend. Yeah, another five windrows, so about another five bales, probably. Because we seem to be getting about a bale of windrow at least, so. Not too shabby. Yeah, we're going to get another one here at the end of this pass, so. Right at the very end. Got one right at the beginning, one right at the end. Works for me. More bales, the better. That's all I can say. The more bales we make, the less we gotta do later, so. I like to get as many of them put up in our first cut as possible. That way we don't have to do so much of our second cut. And when it comes down to the second cut, it might be just three video, three four videos, you know, have a high speed video of uh, cutting everything, have a high speed of raking everything, high speed of baling everything, and then a high speed of hauling and stacking everything. So, <clears throat> just to make the second cutting go by a little faster, since we've already got enough videos from first cut. see how many bales we've made so far we're at 52 so and we still got quite a few to go I'm hoping quite a few I'm hoping we can end with like maybe 75 or so and then we can end up with 75 we should be good then to uh, should be good to go for the winter if we can get 75 off of our first cut and then maybe put up another 50 or so because I think if we get a hundred bales we should hopefully be able to make it through uh, winter and spring in fact we may even be able to do it with just our first cutting um, well, no. We need more hay bales than anything. Hay and straw are kind of what we need the most of because hay and straw 
You know, straw gets put down as bedding and it gets mixed into the TMR. Hay gets fed on its own plus goes into the TMR. Whereas silage, that's only going to get used in the TMR. So, not really going to need as much of that. Alright, so another pass, and then we'll have this field knocked out, and then we'll be able to move on over to that little one that is a royal pain in the ass to get into. Kinda wish there was another way to get into that field, but unfortunately there is not. So come next season, uh, I downloaded a new rake that we'll be able to pick up. Uh, we got the Frontier WR5417 uh, V-Rake, once it loads in here. We got this guy here, so we'll probably be picking that up uh, when we can start upgrading some hay equipment. Really, the only things that need to get upgraded for our cattle farming side is our chopper our mowing setup and our rake uh, which the rake you know we'll be getting that frontier uh, when it comes to mowing we're gonna be getting the uh, New Holland bi-directional uh, the TV 6070 bi-directional tractor with a three-point mower on the front and then a disc bind mower a pull behind disc bind on the back uh, so we'll be able to use that to knock out some acres uh, or we might just get you know a tractor with a three-point and get the front mower and then get you know the pull behind disc bind but probably gonna go with the bi-directional I kinda like that style of tractor alright let's move on over to this one see if we can't somehow manage to sneak in there and not get stuck they definitely should have really done that a little bit differently. They should have added another entrance into there. But unfortunately, they did not. Uh, or they could have made it where you can drive straight on through right there. But again, they did not do that either. So we got to deal with this royal pain of a way to get in back here. Um, unless, I guess I never really checked if there is another way in here. You know, like a gate on the side here. And it does not appear so. Nope. No other way in here, so we gotta deal with this painstaking way to get in. We should be able to make it. Maybe not with the way I turned in just now, but... Had I taken that turn a little bit better, I would have uh, easily been able to make that. Yeah, talk about a clusterfuck. Whoops. And I guess we're going to hit the duel on that fence post. Whatever. So I'm guessing maybe three, four bales off of this field here. Maybe more. But my guess is I'll say three to five. That is going to be my estimate on bales off of this field here. So I guess, you know, that while this uh, realistic 
fail extension um, is nice. It is also kind of a pain for you know our end rows that are right up next to our uh, other passes. Uh, just for the sole purpose that you know it's not really gonna work all that well uh, if a bales right at our the end of our windrow uh, actually thinking about it um, one thing I did get is oh that's in is it in forage harvesters no it's in harvesters um, I got a new swather. It's the John Deere 4995 swather from uh, FS. Jeez, I think this thing's been around since FS 13, FS 15. So we got that and the header for it. So we might probably just upgrade to that swather. Um, I'm not too sure that it's any bigger than what we have now, but probably gonna upgrade to that swather you know we're still using the old older style of swather uh, just not quite as old so this bale is gonna be right at the edge of our windrow there so we still got close to 20 minutes left so I think you know, we'll see kind of where our timer is. Probably end up just finishing off the baling, get this tractor home, um, and then call it a video. Just so that way we can be done with the baling, and then tomorrow we can just work on uh, getting started on hauling everything. But uh, definitely not going to be bringing the bale trailer into this field. It is going to sit probably over where it's at right now. And um, it will get loaded there, the tractor. I'll just bring the tractor in and out of here. Really should be a gate, you know, maybe like right over beside that corn crib. There should be another gate. And I may have to go in and add one or something. Just to give us an easier way into this field. Because that, the way that you get in and out of this field right now is just kind of ridiculous. One kind of annoying thing that I've found. That's about, about all I've really found for this map. Otherwise, there's really no complaints on this map. This map is uh, very, very decent. I really enjoy it. Oops, I can't turn as wide as I wanted to there. My bad. Forgot that there's a fence line right there. Duh. So what do we had so far? We had three bales, so... Yeah, we're probably going to be about five, six bales, actually. Or no, we're at four. One, two, three, four. So yeah. I may have said four, I guess, I don't know. So I'm going to guess actually six to seven off of here. Cause this is number five, so we're getting a bale of windrow here too, uh, if we can do that. We're for sure gonna get one more. See if we can sneak in two more out of here. And we're already thirty percent, forty. Um, might only be one more. We're only at uh, 60 now, so yeah, we're only gonna get one more. But I mean, six bales off of this little guy here ain't too bad. It's not too shabby at all. Let's see what we're at for bales once we get done here before we move on to our last hayfield. Yeah, so here, number six.
All right, so I'm gonna move this over to the field, and then I'm gonna uh, do a quick cut in the video because um, I have to run somewhere quick. And then, so, I mean, it'll be like 10-15 minutes in between this clip and the next clip for me, but uh, for you guys, it'll only be like a second. Yeah, definitely gotta figure something else out for getting in and out of this field. That's going to drive me absolutely nuts doing that. But here we go. We're moving on to the last one, so. We're just about done with it. Which will be very, very nice. Oops. Guess I got a little close to that tree. Definitely wish there was better paths to some of these hay fields. Alrighty. So, I'm going to do a quick pause here. And uh, we'll be back here just a second. Alright, y'all, we are back. So, we're just going to finish up bailing everything here. And then, um, I'm probably just going to take the baler back off camera. I'm um, probably just going to pull it up in front of the uh, machine, on in front of our um, heated shop. Uh, right up by the pressure washer, probably just pull it up there. And, um, we're probably going to have to fill the net wrap when we take it back. Um, but that'll probably happen in another video. because uh, probably what I'm going to do is, you know, we'll finish bailing in this video. Uh, shouldn't have to go get net wrap, I'm hoping. Because we are sitting at 25% of our net wrap. So, I'm hoping that's going to be enough to bail this field. If it's not, we'll probably uh, go grab the Z71, run back to the farm, throw the pallet in the box, and then uh, run up here and fill this back up. And um, But plan is get this field finished, get done bailing, and then I'm going to run this back. And then in, when we come back tomorrow... Uh, we'll be um, hauling and then I'm just gonna let this sit outside of the machine shed until we get done hauling because we're gonna have to wash up the rake and our loader tractor as well <coughs> so we're gonna have to get that done so we'll just wash all of it at once and then get everything put away at once and uh, then we'll be a okay. See, this video will probably end up being a little longer than a half hour, especially if we have to run back and go get net wrap. Um, but we're only using like 1% per bale, but that means we only have about another 20 bales worth, or about 20, somewhere between 22 and 23 bales left that we can make. And at the rate that this field is kicking out bales right now, I have a feeling that uh, we're going to end up needing to fill it. So well, That's okay. we got a speedy pickup. So we'll be able to run there and back pretty quick. Because yeah, that's already... Let's see. we got one... Two, three, four, five bales already. Just off of one round around the field. I didn't realize we were that low on net wrap already. Thought we still had a pretty decent amount of net wrap, but I guess I was wrong.
Just want to make sure it was still recording. Another thing that kind of sucks about this uh, bail extension is that I can't back up, kick the bail out, pull forward before closing the end gate, so that way the bail doesn't clip through, but eh, that's alright, I guess. Is what it is. Jeez, we are already full with another one. We, uh, may not end up having to do a second cut. If anything, probably just going to cut this field and that other large field and just call it good with those two fields. Because I have a feeling by the time we get this field done, we're going to be close to 100 bales. Because when we started baling this field, we were at 62. Now we're at what? on auto save kick in do your thing we're at 70 bales right now and so that means we only need another 30 to get up to 100 bales and uh, I have a feeling that we will have no problem in getting up to that hundred or at least very close to it so yeah, I mean if we do this field and then that other big one over there that'll put us for sure over a hundred if we don't hit it uh, with this so I mean we'll be uh, we'll be pretty set on hay and I mean we are only gonna have about 20 cows or about 25 cows to start with um, maybe 50 We'll see. But 25 cows for sure to start. Uh, just for now. As I mean, we aren't going to be running a super, super large operation here right away, so. I'll definitely be glad to have uh, all these bales hauled home and stacked because once we are done with that then uh, we'll be able to fast forward to our wheat harvest so probably about the time that we get into soybeans we'll probably uh, cut these two fields again I have a feeling we're going to fill right as we start on this windrow. So this will be a number 74, I think. Yep. So we'll at least be three quarters of the way to 100 bales. 
I mean, if we cut these two fields again, we should be sitting around 125, I would guess. Which should hopefully be enough. Because here's 75, so... Plus, there's a few of these bales that we won't have to actually haul. Because we do have those few bales uh, at our farm from just cutting, you know, using the swather to mow. Uh, to cut down the grass at the farm, so we do have that. So those few we won't have to worry about uh, <clears throat> about hauling. So those ones will probably do last. Just because they're the ones that are at home. So we won't have to worry about much of anything with those ones. So once we do finish up, uh, like, baling our wheat straw and everything and possibly corn straw then this guy will get to sit for a little bit but it'll come back out uh, in the winter time because this this tractor is going to go on our uh, feed mixer in the winter because we'll uh, use this to pull the feed mixer around and then we'll use the uh, our case back at the farm to uh, load our mixer wagon We don't really want to use our uh, international in the winter time. Might get a little cold. I mean, not that you can actually feel temperatures in this game, but it's the uh, realism thought that counts, I guess. I mean, I try to play as realistic as I can. But of course, with Farm Sim, you're kind of limited and a lot of things when it comes to realism So this will be 78. So we're going to have about 80 bales. Just over 80 bales. Once uh, all said and done here. Because we'll probably get another, I'd guess, 3 bales. And we're going to have just enough net wrap to finish out baling. Which will be perfect. We've still got enough to make at least another eight bales. Well, seven bales now, but that's 79 bales there. So we're going to probably have about 81, I would guess. But I think, actually, we're just going to make this. Well, no, we should have enough to make another bale, I would think. Because I don't want to leave grass in this baler for when... Yeah, we're just going to make one more bale and then we're just going to call it good. Because I don't want to leave grass in this baler. Because the next thing that this thing is going to bale is going to be wheat straw. So I don't want to have hay in there and then go to bale wheat straw. Come on, fill up, fill up. No! Come on! Just a little bit more. That's all I need. 
They were sitting at like 99%. So come on, come on, come on. Hopefully this little bit will be enough to fill it. Will it? Yes. Cool. So we're just going to shut the baler off. Bada bing, bada boom. We are done bailing. So, I'm going to call it a video here. And then, like I said, I'm going to run this tractor home. And then we'll come back and we'll be working on hauling and stacking bales. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications if you have not done so already to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you check out down below in the description where you can find my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as my social medias and links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and as always, we'll see you all tomorrow.